Hey guys, so today is the release of ST14, the newest starter deck. Uh, it's 3D2Y, three days, two years, with the X cross out on three days to indicate that we're meeting back up in two years instead. Um, we're gonna crack this open and check out the new cards and maybe build out a new deck and give this leader a try. Uh, we generally do do a starter deck versus starter deck uh, video uh, with our uh, local legend Josh, our finalist there. Uh, so we will be taking a look at that soon also. Um, but today we are going to crack it open to at least take a look first. And then I will be posting the uh, more content for this video uh, for this deck soon. Um, doing a full power deck and also a uh, the starter deck for starter deck. So here we go. Let's check what's inside here. Um, I believe it's just their standard play mat with your standard rules that come with every single starter deck. Yep, just your standard vanilla mats for the beginners there so hopefully this is a good entry for all the new players that have been flooding and joining into the one piece community um let's take a look at it so we get this um it's a little more um environmental friendly i believe this is all recyclable now uh, versus just the plastic but uh, let's put that aside and take a look at this deck so you start off with this brand new leader uh, attaching dawn um essentially will gain all your characters plus one um plus one cost if they are a straw hat and then this character also gains an extra thousand power uh so so far looking like a pretty spicy card uh pretty pretty different from the current uh play style of navy and black uh decks in general where it's a lot of cost reduction this is actually just buffing up your uh characters and whatnot so once again attached on all your characters gain plus one cost if you have a character with uh a cost of eight or more you then uh gain 1000 power so that's the first, that's the brand new leader. Now the next one up is gonna be this Sanji card. He's looking like he's pretty scared right now, running away on play. If you have a character with a six cost or more KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. Uh, so if you do attach Dawn to Luffy, uh, Sanji automatically gets buffed to six and then you're able to KO a five cost or less. So for six Dawn, this is a very strong play. Uh, looks like you do get two of them. Okay, next up will be your, uh, sorry, your Nami. It's a blocker card with 1k counter, three cost, 2000 power. Um, on play, if you have a six, if you have six or less cards in your hand, a character, with uh, six costs or more, draw one card. So a free draw essentially, less than six cards and uh, hopefully you're able to uh, buff up one of your characters so you are able to get that free draw. Uh, Nami, you do get two of. Uh, the next card up is this Usopp card. Uh, 1,000 counter, three cost, th uh, 4,000 attack, attaching down when attacking. If you have a character with an eight cost or more, KO, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a four cost or less. Usopp looks like he's uh, he's on that bulk stage and is about to get ready to get on that cut. Uh, looks like he's been gorging himself up with all those delicious food, but. Uh, He's going to be doing a lot of running and burning it all off. So looks like we do get a four of that uh, card, a play set. Uh, next up is this Jimbei card. Three cost, 4,000 power, 1k counter. Activate main and once per turn up to one of your black straw hat crew type characters. Gain plus two cost until the end of your opponent's turn. So a perma buff for uh, your turn and your opponent's turn. Um, I do see that he's a Fishman Sun Pirate uh, card and he's not considered as a straw hat quite yet, uh, but it looks like it's a pretty powerful card. Uh, just adding that cost to the next turn will definitely uh, be harder for a Luchi and or like a Gecko to do the cost reduction to use that, uh, to use those um, 
removers such as the Luchi or um, other cards like that. So another powerful, powerful card, um, especially now with Rob Luchi not allowed to use his stage card anymore. Uh, this should be a pretty spicy card, uh, definitely. So we do get a play set of that also. Next up is the Tony Tony Chopper, a four cost 6K attack power, 1K counter. This is a vanilla card. My man Chopper is in a cape with a mask on saying, stop right there, let's not fight. What a beautiful artwork, I'm liking that one. Looks pretty fun, pretty cool. Definitely fun art style. You do get a play set of that also, so a four of. Next card in the starter deck here is Nico Robin. Six cost, 7k, 1k counter on play when attacking. If your character with a cost of eight or more, uh, give up to your, one of your opponent's character a minus five cost during this turn. Uh, this is more the way uh, the current Navy and Blacks uh, deck style is played, where it's a lot of cost reduction. So this, uh, I wonder if this could be strong in other uh, Navy deck style. Maybe not because it's not searchable because it's Straw Hat character also, but uh, pretty fierce looking Nika Robin here uh, in the snow. Um, but yeah, a pretty cool card. I'm, I'm assuming this, a card this strong is only going to give you a two of. No, we actually get a full play set. So there you go. A full play set of Nico Robin five cost reduction. Uh, next up is going to be a one cost zero attack. Uh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, here it is. Uh, 2K counter. Uh, activate main. You may rest this carrot up to one of your black straw hat crew type characters. Gain two costs until the end of your opponent's turn. So another buff that will. Uh, surpass your turn into your opponent's turn then if you have a character that costs eight or more draw one card trash one uh, so most likely news more for a 2k counter but also some pretty pretty fun effects there that allows you to kind of cycle your hand and just uh draw some cards so probably going to be a staple in a full power deck for sure pretty strong indeed you do get a full play set of that also Next up, we have Frankie. Uh, five costs, 6,000 power, 1K counter, attached on opponent's turn. If you have a character with a six cost or more, this character cannot be KO'd, KO'd um, by your opponent's effect, and he gains 2,000 power. So boosting them up to a 9K power for five costs, and then with that attached on, carrying him to a 10K um attacker a uh, pretty strong card for sure um yeah that sounds awesome can't be kato maybe you can cycle this down onto it swing it out and uh just be unkable um they definitely will have to target that eight cost to or six costs or more to get rid of that buff but uh pretty strong card indeed uh looks like we are getting a full play set of that too of the frankie next up is brooke Five cost, 7,000 power, 1K counter, vanilla card. Looks like Brooke is jamming out in a cell right now. I think he's being pulled away, caught, caught uh, by some villagers thinking he's some kind of evil demon, but he's just there vibing out and playing his guitar. Looks like we are receiving a play set of that also. Next up is another 2k counter, one cost, 2,000 attack power. Uh, Heracles, attack, uh, activate main. You may rest this character up to one of your uh, your black straw hat character type. Uh, gains two power, two costs until the end of your opponent's next turn. So another pseudo boost to allow you to get that um, 8k on board to activate some of the other triggers or other effects on some of the combination cards that you can play out. Um, being in her 2k counter is a very, very strong. Um, I wonder if this would be used in a full power deck or not. I am uh, building one very soon and we will be place testing it and bringing it to locals also. So definitely check out for that video in the future. Um, but yeah. We do get a full play set of that also, so pretty good. Uh, we also, next up is a Monkey D. Luffy. Uh, it costs 10,000 power. If you, if this character, uh, if you have a character 
uh, with a cost of 10 or more, this character gain rush. So it looks like he's an eight cost. You attach Dawn to your leader, he goes up to nine and you have stage out, uh, you're gonna be 10. So he just automatically gets rush. Um, so another powerful card. Uh, this is probably the big body of the starter deck. Uh, this should be interesting to try to test this deck out against other starter deck. Um, I think SC13 was the last one and still seen around and available. So maybe we'll try to ST13 versus ST14. You guys will have to let me know. You guys know my favorite one was probably the SC11, the Uta starter deck, just because I did so many of those events. But uh, we'll have to see what is still available and what you guys want to see. But Monkey D Luffy, it costs 10,000 power rusher. Uh, you only get two of that one, unfortunately. So if you are doing a budget build, you will need uh, probably two of these to kind of grab all the nice SRs and all those powerful cards and to put it together and get a play set. Better get it now when it's available versus when the prices go up on these starter decks. Next up is Ronor Zoro, 1k counter, 6 costs, 8,000 power, another big attacker, 6, 000, uh, 6 costs, so this is going to be your mid-end card here, beautiful artwork, I'm loving it, he's training, he's fighting against those uh, those monkeys uh, on Mihawks' castle, uh, I guess in this courtyard there, trying to train, last time we see this man with two eyes without that scar, so it uh, looks like he's pretty beaten up also after consuming all the pain of Luffy after uh, Kuma just uh, kind of took it all into himself and uh, taking that damage. Uh, looks like we do get a full play set of that also. All right, we are finally into the events here. It looks like Gum Gum Giant uh, Rifle, uh, counter card, one cost. Uh, if you have an eight cost or more, uh, up to one leader or character gains 2,000 power for the battle. He's also a trigger. Add up to one of your character cards with a two cost or less from your trash to your hand. Um, there's not too many two costs or less in this deck other than just a 2k counter. So maybe if you are in a bind and you do hit this off of your life, a 2k counter from trash would probably be pretty pretty solid to protect you there um you definitely would have to check this check your trash to make sure you do have some uh two costs uh or less in your trash um ju just so you don't uh trigger it without being able to draw that card but there you go it's like luffy is pretty angry and he's definitely smashing someone with his gum gum giant rifle uh, we do only get a two of that so if you are looking for a budget deck uh two set of a uh, full set of that would probably be pretty good there holy cow this is a two line event card gum gum diablo three sword style mountain jet 600 pound phoenix cannon now that is a mouthful and there's no commas in there at all but it looks like they're all probably reciting it all at the same time but because we are just one man, we have to go through the entire two lines for that name. But it is a main up to one of your leader or character card gain 3000 power during this turn. Then if you have a character with a cost of eight or more KO up to one of your opponents, characters with a cost of two or less. So for two Dawn, this looks like a pretty powerful card indeed it is not a counter but rather maybe a finisher adding on to maybe a rough rush luffy or something to just give you that extra extra oomph to end the game looks like you do only get two of those cards um we then go to i have my crew luffy just in tears about to give up on the world but he remembers he has all his new friends that he wants to protect uh one costs 
main, draw one card, then up to you one character gains plus three until the end of your opponent's next turn. So maybe another great way to boost up one of your other cards, such as Frankie, to bring him up to that eight cost and just kind of protect him since he won't be able to be KO'd. Um, perhaps some very strong combinations here. It is also a trigger card that will K up, KO up to one of your opponents with a three costs or less so maybe you're able to add that into combination with some of your other other cards i think it was usopp or something that will allow you to ko one of your characters or opponent's characters there's a few cards in here that that will probably synergize with so this could be another powerful tech card for sure uh last it seems that it will be the thousand sunny all of your black characters straw hat crew type characters gain plus one cost if your leader has the straw hat crew type draw one card this might be actually a, a pretty good stage card for uh future um future no it's it, it says it says it's 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 just for black straw hat crew so i don't know if there's other straw hat crews i think there's another mono black luffy leader out there that this might go into but uh obviously this is probably going to synergize with this current starter deck because it was designed to go with this one um but you do get a two of that so if you are looking for a full power deck or a budget deck you will definitely need uh probably at least three or four of this card so it's good to get a place to have that and uh finally we have what every starter deck has it's not going to be as super shiny as the ultimate ultra decks or ultimate decks st13 where the dawn is shiny this is your basic old original vanilla dawn cards but there you are that is the new st14 starter deck um let me know what you think uh i will be trying to see if i can build a full power deck and then play this into some of the meta it looks pretty interesting i'm not natively a um, navy black style player i'm more of that blurple um caught uh purple ramping dawn or that Uta defensive player uh but since this is not your traditional minusing out characters and super removal um this is going to be your hard counters to that gecko and that rob lucci and perhaps some other decks we will have to see how it works through the meta but there you are monkey d luffy five cost leader attaching dawn will gain all your characters plus one cost hope you guys enjoy the video we'll see you on the next one take care guys bye